What's up, guys? This is Coach Phil, and I wanted to talk to you about controlling the ball. In youth basketball, especially high school and middle school, I see a lot of people, when they shoot past the dribble, they lose control of the ball, and I think it's because they weren't taught how, so I thought I'd make a video about it. The first thing I wanted to show you was a picture of my hand to emphasize that all five fingers have a responsibility. The kids that I coach and the kids that I train have heard me say this a thousand times, every finger has a job. No palms on the ball. We already have a video about that. Do not let the palm of your hand touch the ball, but each and every finger has a job to do. The first set are the simplest. We're going to go with the thumb and the pinky. The thumb and the pinky have one job. Their job is to hold the ball. Whether you're shooting, passing, or dribbling, you don't do that with three fingers. You hold the ball with these two. It's the way you maintain order. It's your foundation. Your thumb and your pinky make sure you don't lose the ball because their one job is to hold it for you. Then you move to your index and your middle finger. These two fingers aim the ball. They are usually placed in the center of the basketball and whether you shoot past a dribble, whether you know it or not, you're aiming it. You're telling the ball where to go. These two fingers are responsible for that. Now you don't want these fingers to be too close and you don't want them to be too far apart. You want them at a comfortable spread so that way you don't have to think. You just do it naturally once you get enough reps in. Then you move to the ring finger. This finger is the wild card. You don't tell this finger where to go. This one tells you what it wants to do. Whether it wants to help the, in the thumb and the pinky hold the ball, or whether it wants to help the index and the middle finger aim the ball, you let the ring finger go where it goes naturally. Trust me, it'll make sense when you practice. Now, when you familiarize yourself with it, you want to start over from the beginning. So you see me here dribbling a basketball, familiarizing myself with not putting my hands, palms of my hands on the ball and making sure that all five fingers are doing their job. So I got 10 dribbles on the left, 10 on the right. And then this drill, you want to get on an elevated platform. At the park, they had bleachers and uh, I decided to get on this. It helps you really emphasize each and every finger doing its job. So uh, no matter how tall you are, you know, if you add an extra foot or two, it's going to really help you develop that uh, consistency, strength, uh, everything you need for the ball to go down and come back to you. So that was just dribbling. I moved on to passing. So I was passing against this pole when I went to the park. There was nothing really to pass, pass against, so I chose the pole. The penalty of missing the pole would be that I would have to go get it. So, you know, that was a few takes, but I finally got it down where I could get a few in a row without messing up. Really emphasizing the aim fingers pointing at the pole. You really want to get familiar with those two fingers aiming. If the ring finger joins, that's great. But it was really about how I was holding the ball each and every time. I didn't have anybody playing any defense on me. I didn't turn this into any kind of wicked competition. I'm trying to retrain. I'm actually undoing bad habits and putting in new ones, which take a really long time. That's what I did with the passing. Then I moved on to shooting. Uh, I, if you notice, I'm not really telling anybody how to shoot the basketball, how to set themselves up, footwork, nothing. All I'm really focusing on right now is holding the ball with my thumb and my pinky, aiming with my index and my middle finger, and allowing my ring finger to go where it pleases. I happen to be a two fingers, a three finger shooter. So my ring finger helps in the aiming. For you, it may be the other way around, but that's fine. But I'm a three-fingered, I'm a three-fingered aimer. So I'm just familiarizing myself with that pattern and showing you that you gotta take baby steps if you're gonna make some a, such a drastic change. Especially for my guys who dribble, pass, and shoot with the palm of their hands on the ball. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but if you put the work in, it'll become natural where you won't think about it and you're going to see a wicked and you're going to see a wild improvement. This is Coach Phil. I appreciate you watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all have a good day. Thanks a lot.